What? What? What in the hell? Well, I guess it works. Okay, so the pipes alone are 220,000 rubles. <laughs> this is pricey, but hey, it's oil. So while we sit here and watch this build up very quickly, I just want to say welcome to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, episode 18. I am Juan Badger, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Okay, it looks like it's all built up. A couple of them are already pumping. Yeah, look at that. Hey, these have a capacity of 15 tons. What, what's, what's going on here? Oh, you are pumping into here. Okay. Interesting. You've got power, even. Wow. Oh, we do have that station right there. So, let's take a look at who doesn't have power. Basically, everything beyond that. So, if we were to put one in here, that would cover the rest of them. So let's go ahead and do that. Give you a little road. Tell you to get built. And hook you to power. Where are we going to do that at? Hey, we could have just... Yeah, we could just hook you right into the station there. So let's go ahead and do that. Run you there, there, cut across here, oh, dropped it, look at all this overlapping infrastructure, isn't it beautiful? Let's run you to there. I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze through there, so... We'll just run you to there. And let's try and... Put you, put you right around here with them. There we go. Another 13,000 rubles. Now you should be powered, right? Oh, whoa, what? Okay, what's going on over here? Three workers, why? Yeah, I forgot about that again. We have people come even coming down here. We got three people. So we need we need to tap more of these workers.
question is, how do we want to do that? Could put a platform in over here. Of course, that won't, that'll get like three of these buildings. And then we get a platform in up here, maybe. Meanwhile, these are just going to start filling up. We'll hold quite a bit. Suppose... What is this? Bitumen. Still need to put the bitumen pump back in. This is the oil, right? Yeah. So we got we got power going again, it looks like. Yep, back up to 20 workers. Excellent. Where do we want to grab these workers from? We've got an absolute ton of workers hanging out at these bus platforms. So let's see, where are we getting workers from? We're getting workers from as far away as that building there, so we should be able to grab a fair few. Well, no, it doesn't, no. It is only three buildings still. Okay. So actually, maybe what we should do is put in some housing. Gonna be. Let's see here. Yeah, we got some decent flat terrain here. Can already tell you, these lines are gonna be in the way. Let's drop those. Okay, those should be sufficiently out of the way now to get some good housing in here. Let's see, 75? That won't squeeze in up here. Let's try and squeeze in some little ones up here to begin with. And that's not going to cooperate. Nor is that. Come on. Oh, we had it. This one is possible. I think right there is excellent. Okay, so there's there's 19 more workers that can make it to the platform. All the these guys here. Oh, they're just unemployed. Yeah, they got a university education. Wow. That's that's good. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we still got 470, 21 plus. We're at 467. 448. Alright, so good. It looks like it draws directly from there first. That is That is awesome. What's our... Which these aren't even full, so that's good. Are you looking? Let's see, you can get there. You can even get to the church, so you guys are going to be pretty happy. Pretty happy, I do say. How's supplies? Oh, we're, we're tight on food. Yeah, I probably should get another truck on that. Let's see here. Well, we should have a pretty regular supply of workers flowing over here by train now. So... Can probably turn the workers at these bus stations off. Because where are you coming from? Yeah, 
Yeah, you're even... This bus stops pulling from workers... Workers from here. So... Hmm... Uh, let's just hold off on that. Let's wait until we get this finished. Uh, 97. I'd like to put one of these in. One or even two right here. Okay, so let's see this. 429. Let's watch it drop. Wow. Awesome. That is... That is really good. And this does seem to be bringing in quite a few university educated workers too, which is good. Okay. So you can still reach that, can't you? Yes. So let's go ahead and try and throw in a big one. Whole whopping 189. Where do we want to put you, though? Let's put you... Right there. And right there let's try and hook up some foot paths back here okay nothing's connecting over here will this squeeze through it will so let's run that there let's do that in dollars <laughs> We're really, uh, really cutting into our ruble fund here. It's fine, though. I think we'll, uh, well, let's take a look. Okay, we're not exporting any vehicles. What is going on? Oh, you know what? I know what's going on. Okay. That should take care of that now. Yeah, no wonder our rubles weren't rebounding. Okay. You're not in range yet, but you will be. So let's squeeze a couple more little places in here. Wait a minute. Before we do that. Okay, you can't reach that, but you can get to the bus stop. Okay. Yep, you've got coverage of all that now. So. You got coverage there. Go ahead and build this up. See what our final number comes to now. Alright, we're back down to 110 21 plus, which is pretty darn good. I think that add on goes really well with the city, too. So. We're looking good there. Should be getting a nice, nice amount of workers in there. So, let's stop pulling workers here. And let's stop pulling workers here. So platform 2. So that's the only one that's going to have workers coming to it anymore. We can leave you alone. You, however. Oh, you're going to the concrete plant. Hold on. Yeah, you're going to the power plant, asphalt plant. Well, I think we can get rid of power plant. And we will add in the fire station. You. We get rid of that. Get your new stop there. Get rid of the power plant. Add the fire station. 
What do we want to load here? Workers. And you, let's add in that, delete, delete, and just get workers. Alright, so we got one going to the fire station, one going to the concrete plant and fire station, and one going to the asphalt plant and fire station. And now, we just need to make sure we maintain workers. So let's speed it up for a minute. Watch a full cycle of when this guy comes back around. And the thing we're going to be wanting to watch here is not necessarily the number of workers, but this production percentage. We want to see this, you know, staying up above like 90%. And if we can do that, then we know we've got a good supply of workers. Oh, and we just dropped off there, but... Not for very long, I don't think. I hope not. No, we just missed that. That train was just like a s split second too early. Hmm. But there we go. Is this our train here? Yep. Okay, so they're dropping off uh, construction workers over here, too. Whoops. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that down to, like, five. Let's see, what else can you reach? Oh, you can reach all the way over here, can't you? Yeah. Let's, uh... Holy crap. Yeah, let's turn that way down. We don't send everybody to work at a construction site that isn't being worked on. Heck, let's just uh, suspend that construction. What else are you going to? You're going up here, aren't you? Let's suspend it. And I think that's it. I think that's everything they were going to. So that seems like a good supply of workers. How are we... How are we looking up here for workers now? We're getting a decent amount. Um... Power is all over the place. So maybe we should maybe we should actually turn these down a little bit. Let's turn it down to 80. Turn this down to 80. Just so our power isn't going all wacky. That seems better there. How's it looking over here now? Yeah, much better. Okay. And we should have workers over here once we throw in a new truck. Let's just get one of them. The next train that comes through should send a few workers there, right? Yep. There comes our firefighters. Alright, power's going crazy. Excellent. So now that we got that sorted, let's put our pump back in over here. That's the one we want. Yep, let's uh, draw back the road. Um, yeah, we're going to have a little... A little sideways there, I think. Get that pipe in. There will be no re need for a road going under those, so I'll just leave them low. Uh, 20,000 in pipe. 14 for the station. 
And a thousand for the road. That was an expensive fire. But that is ready to rock and roll again. Let's see. Are we full on oil up here already? Probably. Oh, wow. We're getting there. Okay. Let's get a train to start moving that oil. What we got for dollars? Just a cement tank. Hmm. Diesel loco. 500 kilowatts. That's a that's a big train right there. Um Yeah, let's go with the CME3 and then all the tanks. Oh, one too many. Oh well. That one can sit there. Because I'm sure eventually we will get another train going. So what are you going to do? We don't have a track set up to export yet. So you are going to... I don't think we have any trains trying to make a take a shortcut through here. Which is good. That means you can come up here. Wait until loaded. And then come down here. And wait until unloaded. And you can get to it. And even if you decide to sit in there, our trains should be smart enough to use the bypass. Should be. We'll, we'll see if that happens. Look at that. Look at that beautiful train rolling out. So, actually, let's go ahead and follow him. And now what he should do is come up here to this loop, stop in that diesel fueling station, and then head down that side track to grab some oil for us and take it over to the refinery to turn it into money. Okay, so he's he's skipping that fueling, fueling uh, turn off. Maybe he'll catch the next one. Getting caught by a signal. Are we having issues here? Is this causing issues? Doesn't appear to be. He is going mighty slow. Wondering if that train is a bit underpowered. Okay, he's turning in to get fuel. Alright, moment of truth here. Okay, so he is going to set off that signal there. That's okay. He's a bit too long. If we had shortened him by one car. But that's fine. He's, he's not going to be filling up all the time. And he's not trapped there, so as soon as he's done, he'll get rolling. Oh. Willie. Yeah, we do have fuel there. Okay. Oh, you know what? Here, I also want you to load, but do not wait. You can start refueling our fuel points. We don't have any down here. We just got the one here. So on your way back from the refinery, go ahead and stop in there. Don't load. Just unload. Okay, and then after that, where have we got a fuel point? 
We just got the two down here, don't we? I think so. So stop in there. And unload. And then go back on your merry way. So let's see. You're filling up. You can haul an impressive 600 tons of oil. So this train, 600 tons of oil. We're looking at $26,000 rubles. We would have been paying $52,000 for this oil here. Just for this oil. And we will burn through this oil pretty quickly at that refinery. So let's go ahead and just watch this guy make his rounds, make sure everything's going. Um, I think I will turn this, I think I will leave this on, or I won't. I kind of want to so I can see if he's able to grab any fuel. So let's just head up here and see how it goes. Whole load of oil. Ah, uh, you know what? This isn't a really good idea having this uh, having this guy refuel because what happens once those uh, refueling points are full he's gonna have uh, fuel stuck in here he's gonna go to the oil point and try to load he won't be able to because he's still got fuel in it really we need him to have a final stop at a customs house to make sure he's able to offload any anything left over Okay, so you got you got a you got a very little bit of fuel there. All right, so we'll just let this uh, run through for a minute. Oh, auto save right as I close that out. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. We'll uh, just let the camera follow him around, make his rounds for a few minutes. Feel free to stay and enjoy the scenery if you so choose. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.